I know why I didn't break. I am a fool. I thought it was ancient debris that doesn't that isn't uh, breaking lava. And if I'm actually right, though, we don't have any data packs that change the way that netherite works. We just have the tree capitator thing, and then we have, like, obviously my dimension. That's it. Did it switch the stack? Okay, it did switch the stack, but I thought it switched it before it, uh, the, it ended. Or before it was close to the ending. Like, I thought it switched early. I'm trying to get to the desert. I want to break this sword because this isn't the sword that I've been using. Nope. Not close enough, apparently. There you go. It'd be kind of funny if it breaks the entire server because that sword was so powerful. It's like, no, you broke the most powerful sword in the game. It's a crash. <laughs> That would have been actually kind of hilarious, though, if the game entirely crashed just because I broke that sword. Actually, you know what? I am going to remote into that computer just so I can load up the server. But only just so that way, though, I can actually see where I can actually move the server to the top. And by top, I mean, like, so I can actually see the server. So I can know if it's throttling or anything like that. Okay, let's see here. Where's the server? There it is. Perfect. What? Okay. Okay, hang on a second. So since starting up, okay, so since starting up, uh, we triggered the TP thing three times, yeah. We did the end fight. Yeah, can't keep up. Okay, that was interesting, okay. We got the, the egg and we freed the end. It triggered twice. Then I think we tested. Yeah, we need to go deeper, which is there. And then apparently it detected set block in a far chunk. I don't understand. That's weird. Huh. Wait, hang on a second. I'm going to TP to Sanctuaria just so I can get an idea of what the time is. Is the server. I think it actually did have a problem with that. Mismatch and destroy block position class. Okay. I don't know what that means. I'm not experienced with Minecraft lingo for servers. I just know that when I load a, a normal vanilla Minecraft server, it's actually it, like I can actually understand what happens. Once you load up Forge or once you load up a uh, fabric, it has a giant trees that I'm trying to follow along, and I'm like, uh, did I break the server somehow? I remember when I made the Pixelmon Adventures server. Or no, when I made, I think, the first Pixelmon server before I think I started that server. I even asked the, the creator of the program that actually, like, uh, that I'm actually using to play Minecraft uh, at Launcher. I even asked him, did I break my server? Because th this is a lot longer than I than usually what happens when I boot up a Minecraft server, like vanilla. He goes, no, 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 you, you didn't break anything. You're, you're good. It's like, okay, good. Because I didn't need to break it if I did. Uh, there was diamonds in here, I think. I deserve those diamonds. There they are. I don't think I can stealth my way over there, though. Definitely not with what I have. Even 
more diamonds over there. Okay. I'm gonna go around this tough. What a tough block. Oh. I mean, if you're just gonna do that, that's actually kind of fine. There's more diamonds. Yeah, I think I have a wraparound over here, don't I? Oh, there's a chest over there. Probably one of those empty chests that are basically in here. Yeah. I found out what those are for, actually. They're actually supposed to be for inventory management. So, inst so, <laughs> so instead of Bojang figuring out how to fix the inventory management, they make it even worse. Or they don't even bother fixing it. They're just like, yeah, we're just going to come up with, uh, we're going to come with uh, empty chests. Just so though the player can uh, store their uh, store their what they they've looted in there. Ow. Nope. Yeah, you guys do what you want. Let me go over here. Ow. At least there's no creepers here. I wonder if these are sp special chunks that uh, only spawners can spawn things. Because that's kind of how the uh, the ancient city works. Ow. Where is it? Oh, he fell down. Okay, cool. Now you're dead. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? You're down. Alright. I do want to find out if I can make a vault that will constantly reset itself. That will be a very, very good system to include. Have a vault and an ominous vault that like, you can throw in as many keys as you want. I wonder if that is possible. I mean, if it's possible you can spawn a Shrieker that actually does spawn a Warden, you should probably be able to make a Ancient Vault, or whatever these are called. I don't remember what they're called, really. I'm guessing they're called Ancient Vaults. I mean, it would make a lot of sense if they're called that. That'll actually, like, you know, spawn... Or, not spawn, but you know what I mean. I want the diamonds here. They have eluded me, or not really. They've more so just been tempting me with their with their diamondy glow. I missed blocks. How? Okay, well, apparently I missed some blocks. Apparently, I missed some tough bricks. Very weird. I don't remember ever doing that, but hey. It's fine. Don't worry, I'm gonna cover up all of these uh, ch spawners when I find a chance. <laughs> when I find a chance this week, I'm gonna go and uh, cover up all these uh, spawners with the uh, with wool kind of thing that I get from the spider trial spawner, just so I can actually like, uh, just so I can get rid of this entire area for the most part. How am I going to get those? One thing at a time, please. There we go. Oh. I was wondering why I couldn't go up. I'm holding down shift. That's why I couldn't go up. Okay, I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm going... I'm, 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 I'm reading the future without actually reading the, the, the present. And by that, I mean, like, I was thinking I was already... Put down the block there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's in the middle of the tough. All right. What a tough spot to find diamond. I don't know. Anyway. Perfect. All right. Anywhere else? No. Not here, anyway. Yeah, I should definitely... I'll probably keep saying this, but, like, I'll definitely take a look 
and find out like what trial chamber is the best specifically to go and get uh, to go and get the keys kind of thing or set it up so you can get keys. I hope I didn't just like mess it all up by just opening this entire area up like this kind of thing. And if I did, oops. But I can I can easily fix it by like just putting stuff in here. I can just put dirt or something like that in there. Or put the millions of sandstone that I have. I kind of do want to I already got a stack of diamonds from this, man. Jeez. I don't want to loot that stuff though. That's the that's the useless things that are that this dungeon gives you. There you go. This is the stuff I got on probably on my first attempt. Definitely want to pick those up. This probably has some more stuff in there. Nope. I know there's a few of the chests that I threw things in. I know that crafting table is mine, but I don't really care enough for a crafting table. Very sad, I know, but still. Oh, almost a stack and a half of diamonds just for mine mining out the area around it. Wait, did it just say I can make the brick? Oh, I can make polished tough. <gasps> Ooh. I do want to change the terrain a little bit of my area. There's some diamond up there. Nowhere else, though? Okay. I mean, if you say so, game. I'll be taking this. And done. And if you think I'm cheating, I have this pick. I can get easily get rid of eight durability from it. And then just replace the blocks that I mined with it so we can say that we mined it. The only difference is that I just saved a little bit of time. That's the only thing that's different. I didn't just suffer for like a couple seconds. That's the only difference. All because that one person said I was changing my game mode so much I should probably play on creative. It's like, uh, you do realize that like, the, the thing I don't like about those kinds of comments is not the fact that you put that as a comment. It's the fact that you you watch in the middle of that area. Or, or like you watch in the middle of a session kind of thing. So you're watching at like, let's say part three of an eight part session. And that's the first thing you see. And then you're like, oh, you should play in a creative series because you because you keep changing your game mode to creative. It's like, did you not see the ones beforehand of the reason? I had a reason why I switched my game mode. It's the same thing with one of my first, uh, not really one of my first, but it's like, it was like one of the first comments that confused me for the longest thing. And I just didn't understand why this person even put as a comment in the first place. So it's one of my Pokemon Insurgents videos. And I don't know if I mentioned this comment before or if I talked about it beforehand, but I'm just going to talk about it now anyway. So during one of my Pokemon Insurgents episodes, uh, there's a special uh, thing you can access if you have like a special move kind of deal. Uh, but you have to do it in a special... Not in a special way, but you have to do it in a... Like, you have to maneuver around to get into this uh, to this uh, sort of location kind of thing. So, obviously, the part that this guy comments on is after I did all that. Not before. After I did it. So, I've already gone through the whole shenanigans kind of thing. So it was like, I think I did it in like, I, I think that video was maybe part 79, I think is where the comment, uh, or when the comment happened. And like, if you actually like took the time to watch the previous part, part 77 or something like that, you would know how I got there. 
But this person chose like the one part in which that I don't show it because I've already done it how I did it. So they were angry with my video saying like, oh, of course you don't show how you got there. Uh, yes, I did. You just didn't see that part. And I really don't, it's not that I don't like those comments. It's that I, every time I read comments like that, I get that confused look. I'm like, what? Like, like, and the concept of how I record kind of thing is not foreign. It's just, it's just the older way of doing things. In my opinion, the best way of doing things, because at least you get to see everything. You, you don't get to see that I'm hiding anything necessarily i mean like if i mine majority of this area is mostly just to save you guys time so you don't go okay he's recording about two hours he's uh he's still at the trial chamber mining this one chamber for some odd reason he he wants to mine it all i don't know why but he decides he wants to do it because it has a lot of copper which i understand but you know like why do you have to get copper this way right like, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I'm just saving you guys time in that given moment. But I'm also getting copper at the same time. Because, again, 